All right, now I'm going to do the 2020 AMC 12A problem number one, the first question from this year's test. Let's get started. Carlos took 70% of a whole pie. So think about it. If he took 70%, then there's 30% left. Maria took one-third of the remainder, so she took 10%. Then what's left? 20%. And what does it ask? What portion of the original pie was left? We've got it. It's C. And on to the 2020 12A problem number two. The acronym AMC is shown in the rectangular grid below with grid lines spaced one unit apart. In units, what is the sum of the lengths of the line segments that form the acronym AMC? Well, let's start by counting all the diagonals. Every diagonal that goes right through the square is going to be root 2 times the edge. So this is 1 root 2, 2 root 2, 3 root 2, 4 root 2. And in fact, there's only one answer with 4 root 2. So that's it. And now on the 2020 10A problem number 4, a driver travels for 2 hours at 60 miles per hour during which her car gets 30 miles per gallon of gas. She is paid 50 cents per mile and her only expense is gasoline at $2 per gallon. What is her net rate of pay in dollars per hour after this expense? So dollars per hour, we don't care she's traveling for two hours. Let's just do one hour and we'll get the correct rate because it's the same for both hours. Um, at 60 miles per hour, uh, she's going to go 60 miles, and she gets paid 50 cents per mile, so half of 60 is $30. Then her only expense is gas, which costs her uh, $2 per gallon, and she gets 30 miles per gallon of gas. So if she goes 60 miles, that's going to equal 2 gallons of gas. And we can simply subtract 2 times $2, which is $4, to get 26. Okay, in the 2020 10A problem 6, which was also the 12A problem 4, how many four-digit positive integers, that is, integers between 1,000 and 9999 inclusive, which should be obvious, having only even digits are divisible by 5? Okay, well, if you can have only even digits and be divisible by 5, it's going to have to end in 5 or 0 for the 5, but you can't have the 5 because it's even. Therefore, it must end in 0. So, then we have to say how many four-digit, uh, we have to have only even digits in these three positions. So, in the first position, you cannot have 1. You have to have 2, 4, 6, or 8. You also can't have 0. There's four choices. The next two, you can have 0 through 8. That's fine. That's uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. That's five choices and five choices. 4 times 25 is 100. Continuing on to the 2020 10A problem 7, which was also the 12A problem 5. The 25 integers from negative 10 to 14 inclusive can be arranged to form a 5 by 5 square in which the sum of the numbers in each row, the sum of the numbers in each column, and the sum of the numbers along each of the main diagonals are all the same. What is the value of this common sum? Don't start making a 5x5 five five grid. Think about it. If it's a 5x5 five five grid, you're going to have five rows of five, all of which must be equal. And so whatever the sum is of all the numbers in the, in the whole thing, I must be able to divide that sum by 5 to get the sum in each row. That way the sum is equally distributed amongst the rows. So we can just say that from negative 10 to positive 10, the sum is 0. We really need to add 11 to 14, which is 4 tens, which is 40, and the sum of 1 through 4, which is also 10, to get 50. And then we can just divide that by 5. That's the net sum of the whole thing. It must be that there's 10 in each row and column. 